I do not understand you know, why anybody would want her to be president based on the fact that she was part of the Biden-Harris administration that has literally put America on the path of destruction. Their open borders, massive deficit spending, sparking inflation. Your dollar now is worth 83 cents. Uh, the war on fossil fuels driving up the cost of energy, the weakness they displayed on the world stage, which has really set the world in flames. So again, the, the Biden administration, it's been a disaster for this country. Uh, I, I've been saying for well over a year, I doubted Biden would be their nominee. Now he's not. I also was cautioning people, this isn't about one individual, this is about Democrat policies, their ideology, their governance. It's disastrous for this country. And I've also been predicting that the media will put whoever they replace Biden with on a pedestal. They'll claim this person is the new messiah. And that's what we're seeing just the last couple of days. It's, it's going to want to make it puke. Yeah, the, the, the honeymoon has already started. It, it's absurd. Um, and I'm just wondering, uh, do you have any concern that maybe Republicans are underestimating Kamala Harris because of this short runway? We've got 100 days until the election. Um, and, and she could backdoor her way right into the White House because we've only got you know, 100 days to convince the American people that she's more to the left than Joe Biden. If they're underestimating anything, it's the power of the media. Uh, again, it was the media that got Joe Biden elected campaigning from his basement. It will be the media that will do everything they can to defeat Donald Trump. And again, they don't care who they put in that place. I mean, no matter who Democrats figured out how, how to slot in there, and it was almost impossible to bypass Kamala Harris. I mean, that's, that's their gal. I mean, that's their, their nominee. Now, again, she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. So it's going to be the media that crowns her the new messiah. It'll be the media that props her up. It'll be the media doing everything they possibly can to get her elected and defeat Donald Trump. It's, a, it's really the American people against the media. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's remarkable what's happened. And everything has changed in the last 48 hours. Uh, take a listen to what a Wisconsin voter had to say on MSNBC about Joe Biden suddenly dropping out of the race and endorsing Kamala Harris, to your point, somebody that no one has voted for. Take a look. I think that if the DNC would have taken this path maybe two months ago, when these same problems existed, I might have leaned towards Kamala, uh, our vice president. Now, knowing the things that they've been hiding in plain sight from the American public, I cannot find it in myself to vote for a Democrat, and potentially I might never vote for a Democrat again. All right, uh, that's a Democrat right there. Um, are there more people in your state and around the country that feel the same way? I hope so. I mean, Democrats have been lying to you. The media's been lying to you. So why would you take their word for it right now? You know, there, there'd be, there'd have to be some kind of cognitive dissonance for you to believe the media and Democrats this, you know, from this point forward. And again, believe your own eyes. Are you satisfied with the open borders? Do you like the fact that your dollar is only worth 83 cents? Do you like the war on fossil fuel? Do you like being forced into buying an EV, whether you like one or not? Do you like the world in flames? Mm. I mean, again, that is what Democrat governance has given us. Uh, we're on a path to destruction. We don't have much time. Uh, time is running out. So from my standpoint, I hope there are more individuals like that guy. He sounds pretty smart to me. Yeah, me too. Senator, two quick ones, uh, a little less than a, a minute to go. Um, are, are you more nervous today about this election than you were on Friday, uh, the day after the RNC wrapped up? Yeah, I would say absolutely, although I never thought Joe Biden would be their nominee. I, I always figured they would do this. They were always going to pull this. And I knew exactly how the media would prop up whoever the nominee was going to be. So I've, I've been nervous. I've, I've never I've been, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a national optimist, quite honestly, not, the, not in today's world. Okay. Um, just final question. Joe Biden's going to address the nation tonight. You know, whatever they said to him over the weekend to get him to drop out of this race, they've still got hanging over his head. Is there any way that Joe Biden gets out of this, resigns the office tonight like, like Nixon did in 1974? Do you think that could happen tonight? Because Kamala is a lot better candidate from the bully pulpit if she's president. I would say it all depends on the threats, and the Democrats have all kinds of things they can threaten him with, all kinds of inducements, too. I mean, you can see that you know, the, the, they're trying to play nice right now, just praising what a wonderful president he's been and what a great man he is, yeah. but they've got all kinds of things they can hang over his head that they can start dragging out uh, that I'm sure finally coerced him into uh, ending his campaign and possibly ending his presidency. So you think he could end his, his presidency tonight? That's a real possibility. It's on the table. Um, Senator, great to see you. Appreciate you breaking all that down for us. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, thank you.